Leo late. But this is gonna be Persona 5 Royal. Uh continuing challenge mode, part 46. 46. Ah, all right, let's get her going. No hitting dingers yet. We'll see what I can do. I um I am only I'm like a couple I think I'm like only two points behind on one confidant, and I should have a bunch of time to to make it up. And if I have spare time, I'll hit dingers. I'm pretty good at hitting dingers. You'll be proud of me, Denny. I've been playing Yakuza 4, and I've hit quite a few dingers. Are you, though? I do know that this game is very quiet. Nice. But you have to go to the gays. I don't think that's where I want to go. Welcome. I don't want to. That's where. Um <clears throat> I see. What do you want to do? Hey. Oh. Um speaking of the OST, did you order the did you um pre-order the full hey. Persona collection on vinyl Danny or now? Thanks for coming in. Okay. I did too. I'm I'm starting to get a little itchy because we're about to enter Q3. So I'm hoping that means it's pretty soon. We'll get some information on it. Especially considering that was not an inexpensive uh, investment. Dude, I was looking at Discogs yesterday, and I have stuff that's, like, literally five to ten times higher than, like, I, I purchased it for. Early fall. I was thinking probably more, like, we won't hear shit until, like, October, but, hey, you never know. Is that early fall? No, mid-Septembers are, like, start of fall. Yeah, it's like the weirdest stuff, too. Ah, oh, okay. That would be that would be nice. I would take that as a W. Oh damn. You trying to fuck. Concentrate. What's up, Aki? How are you, friend? Shanks for seven months. But yeah, I know they're not awake, but I um a while ago, Brighton was like, "Hey, if you're if you're getting that one, uh, you know, would you sell me your your Persona Five OST? Because I really like that one out of all of them. I just might give it to him because like I don't I don't fucking sell." Yes, yes, I booked, um, actually, Aki retweeted it, and I bookmarked it. I've been meaning to get back to take a look at it. Um, the, uh, it was the second 
second pressing that I am 8 bit. So it's the red, clear, gray, and black, I think. Um, yeah, there's that. Yeah, I was looking through it yesterday and I was like, bro, why is this fully coolie vinyl like on? Like, I get it if there's only one or two up for sale, but there's some stuff where there's like four or five and it was like a $30 record that I purchased and it was like last sale price $150. Like, whoa. I see. I, I'm not good at selling my shit, but. <laughs> It's just weird to see. Yo, oh hell, cause I'm Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go to the post office. Well, the last time. Hmm. Okay, tower. Do I have tower? I think I have tower. I do not. I do have tower. Okay. still out at Akihabara. Yeah, there's a that. Hey. It's a, I I looked into the like it always blows my mind the the depth of the voice actors that are in this game like it's incredibly impressive. Also, I'm surprised that literally not everyone and their mother has been playing Xenoblade Chronicles Three. Yeah. That's the big thing. It's like even the stylistic choices make make a lot of sense. Like it's cool that the two dudes directly behind us have facial detail, but everyone else is just intentionally kind of washed out. Oh, did you get like the collector's edition, John? So I own one and two. I just haven't gotten around to playing them. I need to get through Live Alive and Crimson C2 hey. before I jump into like Xenoblade. Um, one of them, I'm going to try and work on a speed speed run project with Cosmic. And I'm going to be working with Frub and Palmer on Live Alive. Uh, and that was also a gift. So I want to obviously not not just throw it into the pile. Yeah. Oh God, dude. I wish my stream had that. In in Live Alive, not yet. Or Xenoblade. Aww. Or Crimson Sea. God knows. Glad you're doing good, Aki. You here to here to chill? You take what are you taking the night off? Oh, nice. I'm here for it. I'm also mildly happy that during all of the near stuff 
I was like, yeah, that doesn't exist in the game. That's either modded or some bullshit. It's either a marketing ploy or a mod. Everyone's like, bah, 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 bah. I'm like, yeah, I know, but trust me, I know. Just chilling, hell yeah. Well, definitely get comfy. We're gonna, we're gonna be here at least an hour, so. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good game to kick off to. Um, also, if you haven't, feel free to jump on that. And if you're not doing anything the 13th, let's get together and play some video games and hang out, talk some shit. I can give away a bunch of really neat stuff I've been collecting. It feels so good to have all those maxed. Later. Later. Uh, it's just been a very interesting year, I think, so far. And it's only, only like, almost August now. Lots of weird shit. I'm excited for the rest of the Formula One season. So far, that's been... While the races haven't been super entertaining, the a little bit of the drama has, and just kind of the people that I expect to not do anything all of a sudden kind of stepping up and being good humans, which is which is nice to see. NASCAR being extremely entertaining too. I know you know it's really weird. I think it's just because more people have gotten into it, and because it's become so wildly unpredictable. Like, with all honesty, I think the chance of a Red Bull 1-2 tomorrow or, you know, Max Verstappen winning the race tomorrow is just as likely as Mercedes getting 2-3 or Ferrari ending up with zero points. And I think that those three things are all as equally likely as possible, which is kind of nuts. Mm -hmm. They really have. Now, if we could get the Dutch fans to chill the fuck out, that'd be great. I am slightly behind on Zoom somehow. Like, no offense to the Dutch homies here. I know you're not shipbirds. If you were, you wouldn't be allowed here. But, like, eesh, dude. Yeah, the NBA did it, did it honestly, as much as I'm not a fan of it. Their social media presence is great. The teams, the players, the mascots. Like, I've really, really, really been enjoying... Thank you very much. The, uh, just the camaraderie. Check. All right. As uh as much as it kind of pains me to say, I think one of the best things was Fucking Mazepin getting launched. Thank you very much. 
and don't get me wrong there's still like drivers that i think really suck and, and that really don't deserve to be where they're at or are extremely overhyped but it seems like maybe not always super outwardly they're very much on the same page i mean i've been on on the on it about it pretty much all week but i think sebastian vettel's retirement is a huge blow to that and i'm hoping whoever ends up replacing him um either steps up and is really really on it all right um or is you know or seb sticks around somehow to maintain a presence in the scene low key i'm rooting that somehow within the next year or two jahan daruvala gets a shot in formula one i'd like to see him get with an like a decent enough team and maybe get a chance to score a point or a few um i think it's kind of almost silly that it's taken this long for one of the most populous countries in the world china to get one formula one driver in <laughs> one formula one driver and he gets point get today. gets a you know scores an, an official point so i think the progress has been really good and with the pushing of people like lewis and george and seb and alonzo about safety wow. about social awareness and stuff like that i think it's really starting to be a good thing um especially with the fact that they're also they're supposed to be what net net zero carbon by 2030 that's a huge goal considering they literally travel the globe and i don't know like i know danny knows this but people that aren't super familiar with formula one you'll see like the the pit area and you'll see like these buildings or like these hospitality t you know like style buildings those are all driven there <laughs> like they literally like the command post and setup is literally all on a truck and everything kind of folds out and pops up and shit it's incredible yeah like we'll we'll take a i'll take a quick pause here like uh So like, like this, like these are the these are the the trucks that they pull up in. That's that's like part of their building, dude. Oh yeah, it's it's getting really cool, Denny. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, like basically. Like, say this is Mercedes. Like, they're, they're like headquarters where everyone hangs out. There's like sleeping quarters. There's, you know, where they all sit around, all the engineers, the planners, the mechanics, all the like. If it's not in the garage, it's in like these trucks. But they all kind of fold together. And it, like, it's, it's absurdly cool. Now, obviously not even including like, you know, the, the actual cars and stuff like that, but they transport these things across the fucking, you know, world. Yeah, it, it's so cool. And I'm definitely excited. And I think, I think one of the neater things as well is like a lot of these innovations from WEC and FIA, like Formula One, like it used to be like you know whatever's in the mercedes-benz s class you know whatever that comes standard with or whatever options it has is standard in like cars 20 years later like that technology gap is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and stuff that we're seeing in formula one and um um like yeah. WEC and stuff like that is is making it in a, in a commercial version like a you know everyday passenger version like five years or less um I probably have like another another like 45 minutes to an hour at least um, eh. yeah I'm a huge dork Wow. 
Okay. Got it this time. Nice. But yeah, if y'all ever have interest, um, usually either Chuck or Imp will will have the Formula One race on. I think Chuck's covering it this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about Xenoblade 3. It uh it it's it's a monster of a game, that's for sure. Wait, are we seeing Dr. Legs today? Oh yeah, it's time for Dr. Legs. Alright. I gotta go grab death. Uh, that's why I called her doctor, Doctor Legs. <clears throat> you Time for dinner. Are you finished? Fuck. What? You wish to God. perform an execute? Change Too quick on the trigger like today. To read the compendium. These are the paths you have walked. It's a raid. Yo, Untame. Welcome to the stream, friendo. How are you? I'm just going this to keep here. Was drugged, and accept this persona. Yo, what's up, Delacroix? Welcome, welcome. Howdy, friends. Renoa, welcome in. How are y'all doing tonight? Done already? What? It is time, inmate. We getting some loving in. <laughs> Hopefully y'all are having a terrific night. Grab your favorite snack and blankie. It's time to relate. Yo, what's up, Untame? How are you, friendo? How you been? I mean, to be fair, Monolith definitely loves their long cutscenes. We can have a discussion about how the, the Xenosaga speedrun is almost double in length, if not longer, for cutscene percent. No thanks. It, um, my model is just me. In... <laughs> Hey, what were y'all up to? Nothing to talk about. Uh, we just finished Har uh, We finished Haru's dungeon about a week ago. Yeah, dude, I wish I had ears. Yee. Yeah, I love P5. So I played through it. Um, pretty much right after it came out. Ooh, woo. Um, and... Welcome to Kyo's channel. I'll be your navigator, Risei Kujikawa. And just so you know, you are my favorite oh, wow. simp. Oh, whoa. Yeah. No, I'm familiar with Killjoy. I used to speedrun that game. Dude, Persona 5's great. Um, so this is my actually my first time playing through Royal... But having played already like 90% of the game, I figured why not why not do a, a big old challenge run? Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Be respectful. She's Dr. Dami Mommy. She worked hard to get that doctorate, I'll have you know. And this is actually the second time I'm going to bring this up in 24 hours. Um, I was talking to... Yeah, welcome in, Raiders. I'm Kios. I'm primarily an oh, RPG is. and ARPG speedrunner. Uh, on the weekends, we build keyboards, we cook, we play some golf. So this is actually not a scheduled stream for today, but it is a challenge run. Uh, we've been swapping between hard and merciless difficulty. We're going to be getting all confidence and maxing them all out. Um, and the other thing is obviously no DLC persona because they're like huh? way broken. But um, my one of my graduate or uh, undergrad advisors was a lady by the name of Dr. Rimby. 
And any time that anyone would say, oh, Mrs. Rimby, she'd be like, one, it's Dr. Rimby. Two, I beat his ass. She was a very tough lady. She grew up in like a traditional northern Pennsylvanian coal town and her husband was a bit handsy and one day she had enough and just beat him with a frying pan. <laughs> she was awesome. Yeah, sometimes we go for motorcycle rides. Sometimes we go for, we talk about cats. We also have a ferret. You want to look above my head. Yeah, that's Freya. Freya's pretty cute. But yeah, what were we up to? Games and demos? I assume you were, um... I assume there were some some other things. What? That was not a sentence. What uh? What did you end up playing? Yeah, welcome in, Raiders. I'm Kios. Wait, if you have any questions, what? feel free. We're just kicking it and chilling tonight. Oh, we also like Formula One. Anyway, if you uh, ever ever want to catch a race, normally we have all of them in the Discord. Um, I've been a fan for going on two decades now, so a little bit of knowledge there. SMT3 is fabulous. I um, I still have it on PS2. Um, mm -hmm. Big fan. What did, we did? Um, Do you have time? We did, uh, the, so previously we did what? All Confidence, Maxed, or uh, All S-Links Maxed for Persona 4 Golden, I think, with Golden Ending. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Um, it's one of those things, like, to be honest, I think it pays to do it, like, in reverse order, especially if it's your first time dealing with how, like, the SMT and Persona series works. I generally recommend people start with five and work their way back because they get more and more difficult the further you go in. And like getting the knowledge of how things Sorry. work and how easy and accessible it is in P5 definitely makes the P4 experience better in my opinion. Thanks. I think it's also funny going from smooth jazz to like really good kind of pop music and then in persona 3 you end up with um lotus juice <laughs> mm -hmm. one of our one of our really good buddies if you well, actually we have quite a few friends um our friend tatsuya act does persona 5 speed runs and persona 5 striker speed runs um, our friend Flutter, she does uh, Nocturne, P4, P3, and is learning SMT5. Our friend Freedom does DDS1, DDS2, SMT4, SMT4A speedruns. So we we got we have a good group of. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei and Persona Enjoyer Speedrunners. SMT3. Nocturne is so good. Unfortunately, like, I'm a good guy, but, like, one of my favorite experiences is watching people that haven't played the game getting to Obelisk. Ah, <sighs> man, that place sucks. Ah, <laughs> God, it hurts so uh, much. You're back. Am I carrying fortune? I am not carrying a fortune for something here. All right, let's go fix it.
Fortune 8. and dethrone god. <laughs> Look, MC Ride says it best, Denny. I am the beast I worship. Shoutouts to How Death Grips? What has Death Grips been doing? You'd like to read that these are the paths All right, what do we have, Fortune? I don't want to waste that kind of money in that persona. Is this what you want? Is this what you will withdraw? This is your power. Time for some. You wish to perform a fusion. What? Yeah, makes about no sense. But yeah, I had fun. I like the new cooking stream setup. Um, I actually enjoyed enough. I might, I might think about maybe getting someone to make a cool layout for it, because like, uh, I feel like that would need like kind of a special touch. Can we talk? Of course. <laughs> Bubba Dare Ferret Booty all over the place. Yes. But yeah, normally I'm, I'm bouncing either between, we've been working on a fist only Elden Ring playthrough, which has been pretty cool. Um, I think we're gonna start working on a seamless mod playthrough. Uh, there's gonna be three of us doing gimmick builds um, I'm probably going to be either doing like pole arms only or fist only. Uh, our buddy Inf is probably going to do bow only. Um, Trad is going to do a wall build and we're hopefully going to be joined by our good buddy Palmer, who's never played a Soulsborne game. It should be wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to do that, but Denny said we should do P5. And you know what? Denny was right. There you go. Clip that, record it, print it out, put it up on your fridge, Denny. How are you tonight, Quaz? You've been chilling the entire night, dude? Yeah, Monday I'm going to take the motorcycle out. It's going to be a short trip, but I'm going to run out to the post office. I have a 3D printing commission. Uh, for Anno and his partner I have to ship out and uh, I have something in from Japan that they just decided to very night very lightly knock on my door and then not leave the package so that's kind of fucking interesting. yeah no no worries dude. cool hopefully you were very productive But yeah, that seasick was very, very good, Denny. I um, I uh, I actually added a little extra sriracha into it, though I feel it might be a slightly better with like something like gochujang. But like, it definitely needed a little bit more spice. It's just like spicy breakfast, though. I like it. Spicy citrus breakfast. And the barbacoa is fucking, it's literally the most tender I've ever made it. And it's like full flavored. The answer was it needed more adobo and a bit more beef stock. Well, more concentrated beef stock, really. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it absolutely does, Renawa. The entire series is really good. So Persona has had Shoji Magoro at the helm, um, and all of their stuff. Very, very fitting the animation style and the aesthetic. Yeah, they're all very different, but all very good. <laughs> I, um... I generally, I only play games that have really good music or music directors. I think what's really funny is of the games that I've, it, if if I get around to speedrunning Live Alive, which I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing. All right. Um, I think the highest percentage of games that I've speedrun will all have music by Yoko Shimomura. Because <laughs> I've done Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I did BBS, which was Yoko Shimomura. We did Parasite Eve, which was Yoko Shimomura. And Final Fantasy XV, which is Yoko Shimomura. And then Live Alive would be four. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much everything we've done has been really good. We, we used to speedrun uh, the DMC reboot, and that was Noisia and Kaba Christ on the soundtrack for that. Um, FF12 was Hitoshi Sakamoto, and pretty much everything that we play is, is like really good music. The only kind of outlier is that was was Xeno Saga, because the music, the music in that is good, but in the speedrun, you don't hear any until the last two dungeons. That's the only like really weird part about that game. I wasn't a very good speedrunner of the game, but I did it. <laughs> Get it. Time to start reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, it's incredible. Between, like... Like, I'm really excited for six Final Fantasy 16 because that'll be my first, like, real game experience with, with Soken doing the music, and I've never played Final Fantasy 14. I honestly don't have plans to, but I own... A, a couple of the 14 soundtracks and they're fabulous um so i'm very excited to experience a game that he has like kind of creative control over the music um Soken's incredible um if you've not like i used to speed run near automata um if you've not experienced keichi okabe's work also mind-blowingly good like downright terrifyingly good Like, like how you how you sit down in the, at the piano and do this.
I don't want the sequential mix. Yeah, but how you sit down and just play this real quick. Like, bro, bro, chill, chill, relax. It's a video game. Like, homie's out of control. I got, dude, so, like, I have, like, almost 2,000 hours racked up in near speed runs, and the only thing I disliked about it... Okay, that's a lie. I hated the entire thing. Um, the one thing that really bummed me out about the speed run is this is, like, my favorite track from the OST. It's one of the shortest that we get in the game. Because you go into Copied City, you do the fight, right? No, nah, not in the speed run. You literally get down... Um, you go, you go into the elevator, you go down, you get like 15, 20 seconds of the intro. And by the time you're there, you get into, um, you get into the fight. You do man, uh, mansplain skip and then the music stops. That's it. Yeah, it's su it's super quick. Um, here we'll take like a we'll take a, a second, a, a a second, and um, because I know now that this is up, people are gonna talk about the um, oops, like oh the 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 near stuff. There's a reason why I was extremely confident about what I said. But there's a reason for that. Just fucking heal. Don't be greedy. Actually, right here, yeah. I didn't get it first try. But yeah, this is this is all of Copied City. On the game. Now I have clicked on the game. Look at baby Kios. Like, because the music, the music is still kind of like soft and doesn't kick in until you get like literally right about there. Yo, right? It's going to be nuts. Okay, ready? That's where the door is. Supposedly door. right here there's nothing there's nothing behind this there's there's nothing you will fall through all that is out of bounds area like floorless but there you go you get like the first Ali, couple of intro notes play that's absolute dog shit <laughs> fucking cosmic but yeah that's it and by the time you're back here there's no music that's it it's all you get you hit the elevator you wait don't look at it Android Graveyard. And at this point, it already transitions over to the fight music. Family. Only then. Only then. In, out. Blank up, cutscene skip. Ready? Camera tilts up. Have you ever wanted the speedrun equivalent of a very large sweaty man shitting into your mouth with a... <laughs> Christ! Uh, anyway, proper representation in speed runs. All right. Anyway, back to the shenanigans. But yeah, I um, I'm super excited, dude. I'm so glad that <laughs> pretty much every speed run I have that's on the leaderboards for Near Automata is like just absolutely disastrously filthy. That game turned me into an animal. It was just that that game brought out some rage in me as a speed run. To be honest, I, I will go on the record of saying, like, when people are like, oh, it's a tough speedrunner. Ooh, that's a easy speedrun. Near Automata, like, high-level Near Automata, I think is probably the hardest speedrun that is out there. It is so precise. It is so demanding. Like, physically, it's about three to 400 APM. Like, we're talking, like, the days of competitive StarCraft II type of, like, input requirements. Oh, and you have to read the enemies and the bosses, and a lot of times be pixel and frame perfect to pull shit off. 
at the same time while fighting, you know, an enemy. It's it's pretty insane. One day I'll go back to it because my time dog shit. Still top 20, but still dog. Yeah, it's going to be really cool, Ano. So the thing that actually excites me more about 16 that doesn't really get talked about is, like, of, like, the the core creative group, like, the people that are doing the world, um, the like, the, the battle and stuff like that, uh, like, the, like, the really important parts of the game. What? Um, three of them were involved with Final Fantasy XII, and I think two of them were involved with Final Fantasy Tactics. Which really makes me think Ivalice is making a comeback. But, you know, those are also games that I thoroughly enjoy because the, the lore building and, like, the worlds and the architecture are just fucking beautiful. Like, there's something aesthetically about Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy Tactics that really really don't exist in the other final fantasies oh, have you heard yeah the team that's on it is like big dick dream team for like my interest in final fantasy yeah koji koji fox also like unless you're a pretty hardcore 14 fan is a name you might not be familiar with but dude's a fucking wizard that ain't bam 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 yeah, it did, and it partly because some of some of evilly like people that worked on twelve and and tactics ended up on the fourteen team. Somewhere around, I don't I don't know if I have it saved, but there's like a spread like a, there's kind of like a flow chart on a of like Square Enix development teams. And it like breaks down who went where and which teams ended up working where. Phantom vibration tender. This is it. Good. Where Enix below chart. Is this it? Square Enix development flowchart? Crimson. I can't find it right now. But like, it's really interesting, like how the people that spent time on like tactics ended up working in 12. And then like part of 12's development team was I think part of like ARR and then continued to flow down. It's, I know someone has it. I just don't have it on me. Yo, finally done with the old job. Yo, let's go GG onto bigger and Thing. All right. Time to go hang out with the Hermit, which is Abba. We go at the third. 
This is the most annoying and difficult part. This is what really slows things down in this game. On hey, inmate. Honestly, I still think it's it's incredible how. <laughs> Like, the Nier series, especially Automata, was not expected to do what it did. And just continues to bring new people in. I am, I'm personally, honestly surprised that they have found a way to get it running on Twitch that hopefully isn't dog shit. Uh, and I'm glad that it had a chance to shine in 14. Um, even though Yoko Taro wanted to make it an absolute hellscape, uh, it is really nice to to the see more and more people get exposed to that patience. series. And as much as I think Yoko I'm Taro finished. is what? probably one of the most absolutely out of his mind people, and his stories are horrifying and fucking make you feel bad, it's very important. I, I think it's very important to experience something like that because... While it's not always a happy ending, there is a sort of melancholy closure to a lot of things, and the man can write a goddamn story. The timelines are a little wacky and stuff, and the characters are a little out of control, but it's really, really good. Alexa, turn on Shelby Light. Dude, I mean, it is horrible. <laughs> The ri okay, <laughs> I'm sure most people that have played 14 and know Nier. Uh, so initially, the one Nier raid, um, Yoko Taro actually got upset because um, he was like working on designing that raid. And he was like, well, if any, I think it was like, what, like a 32 person raid where y'all have to dodge like the hacking balls or whatever. He was like, well, if one person fails, does that mean we can make them all fail? And they're like, right, no, go. Yoko Taro, that, that, that would be bad. That would be very frustrating and people wouldn't like that. And he was like, oh, well, can we do that anyway? And they're like, no. And apparently he got like really upset. This comes, this comes from, a, from a man who the, from Drakengard, the endings of Drakengard 1 and 3 are literally some of the most difficult bullshit ass stupid mm. fucking things I've ever experienced imagine that you have to play a rhythm game perfectly um, for about six or seven minutes and then you have to make a blind input with tempo changes after oh, the screen has gone black and everything is over. <laughs> you kept on a leash. <laughs> yeah. It's it's one of those things like I think I think the 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 thing that keeps him in check is like he has these big ideas. And he's really good at storytelling. Yeah. But like I said, it, the the timelines are a little loose, and something some of the characters are not that great. Um. Really? But I think when you put him with the right teams, and like especially with the Final Fantasy fourteen stuff, people that are not afraid to stand up to him and just be like, "Dude, that's horrible. Nobody will like that." <laughs> we have experienced Dragon Guard one and three. We don't need a fucking repeat of this. <laughs> Like, that's when, like, having, like you said, either having a leash or people that can kind of push him in the right direction for his, like, incredibly <laughs> wild storytelling and concept development to really blossom and become a great product, I think, is, is where it ends up. Like, like BGG's saying, like, it's, if you don't keep him in check, shit gets out of control. Um... Nier Automata was almost canceled multiple times because he just wouldn't show up to work. 
He'd just show up hours late and like kind of half drunk and be like, dude, what are you doing? Like, we will cancel this fucking game unless you show up and work. Like, meh, all right, I guess. Can't fail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, his his games are very punishing. Um, and I think the, the thing is, like, he has this deep-seated love for, like, old-school shmups, like shoot-em-ups, um, and rhythm games, which, to me, personally, have no fucking place anywhere near an RPG in any way, shape, or form, because that shit's awful. <laughs> um, but he, you know... Again, if you can if you can push him in the right corner. Yeah. <laughs> he um like he uh. Yeah, it's very I I love him for the things he does well, but the things he does not do well are terrifying and hateful. I see. He's one of those people that loves suffering also if y'all don't know bgg if you're speaking of we're, we're talking about rpgs and stuff if y'all don't know this absolute legend i highly recommend checking out background guy 2 known him for many 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 years um incredible incredible rpg enthusiast um overall incredibly wholesome and lovable human and uh if you haven't check him out Guarantee, guarantee you'll love what's going on. Man also has one of the most iconic laughs in the industry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, BGG's got dope emotes. Hmm. Yeah, I hope you. I, I saw y'all were y'all were out and uh, gallivanting. I hope that you've been having fun and staying well. Yeah, it's a great voice. All right. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things. Now I'm an RPG professional. <laughs> I'm uh, to be honest, I think it's very interesting, like. For me, it's it's very strange. Yeah, I'm gonna be 32 in like a week or so. Yes. The years they fly by, but hey, we're having fun. Let's do it. Well, that's the best we can do. I I, th I think the interesting thing is, and for me, I don't know much about 14, but like the dev teams and stuff. Like, I think it's very interesting. Like, I'm going to start to get introduced to, to people that have worked very heavily on 14 when 16 comes out is, like, the, the transparency with a lot of things that go on at Square Enix is very endearing. Like, it's so, like, just being within Yoko Taro's weird world that he's created there are some days where you can just go on his twitter and he's just like basically giving up all of his secrets about everything and like explaining stuff to just random people on the internet and i know people were were trying to get trying to pick his brain about the whole like near church thing and he was just like i don't know well how do you feel about it i don't know like, bro, what do you mean? Like, someone took your game and added something in completely new to it. Is yeah. <laughs> any any sort of emotion? Yeah, I I to be honest, Denny, like part of me wishes I could trust myself to play MMORPGs and play through 14. Like it would be I know for me it would be ah, great. You're back. But like looking at it like I would have to, it, that would be like a two or three year endeavor for me, it's like just my schedule. You run me through it? Yeah. Why don't you just run me through with a fucking telephone pole? It'd be less painful. 
I'm just I'm just not good with MMORPGs because I would just I would literally just sit here for like 36 hours at a time, pass out, just be. It's, it's like really neat like I've I've honestly enjoyed um, just the 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 experiences I think is probably like the best way to describe it Alexa turn on stream corner there we go that's better I knew my light Trying to multitask my silly small brain. Um, but as we've like gone through, especially this year, the amount of like games that I've got to play, and I think the the big thing for me, oh, like nice. kind of rediscovering my love of RPGs, was going through the Pixel remasters and getting a chance to play games that I really haven't either ever or in a very long time, and that's been really really. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we'll, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> One of those things, like, I think at some point I, I should. Like, I kind of owe it at this point, but... What? At the same time, I mean, like, even if you're doing just story Actually, only, I mean, how long is is the entirety of 14 now? It's probably got to be, what, like, almost two, 300 hours, likely more. What does that mean? Dolma Vape. Yeah, that's just six O. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I go, I go, I do the fast zoomy zoomies, but like, still, that's a lot. I mean, this, this like, this is like a bonus week for Persona 5 Royal, our playthrough. So this is our this is our second time playing it this week. Um, However, and this is part 46. And we're only in September. We still have like basically a little bit less than half of the game to go. <laughs> we'll see, I, I think we're over 60 hours in this. Maybe, I'll double check the next time I can Tell me her name. Um, See, that's why in this playthrough, we just have all of them.
See, I would date right. Haru, but I'd spend so much money on concealer for that big ass forehead. This is this is what I, I want to rig this up to play every time Haru's on screen. I was joking. Uh, yeah, I do get some free time in December. Realistically, the way this is routed, it's highly aggressive. Um, and we won, we pretty much one day all the dungeons in this challenge run. Very good. Um, so I should have like almost a free week and a half in December to just dick around and hit the dinger. Yeah. Nice going. Some of them are tough. Some of them are very tough. Like I remember with the the P5G like challenge run we did. Or I'm sorry, P4G challenge run we did was so difficult because like i always struggle to do yukiko's dungeon in one sitting like it's so so difficult um and like i had to two day it and i ended up i literally had to play catch up the entire playthrough <laughs> i think we finally caught up with like a day and a half to spare Oh, yeah, this game is way more forgiving. Like I said, if you want to dive into this, like the Persona and SMT series, I'd recommend playing them from newest release back because they are very forgiving in the more modern setting and get progressively more difficult and less controllable in, uh, in the previous iteration. Oh yeah, we gotta spend a lot of time with I forgot we just have tower belt. Yeah, see I didn't have that. We are getting we are getting P3P though. With FemC, which I think is is pretty neat though. That's a cool thing to have. Um, because definitely not a lot of people have to. I think it'll be a good. Hey. We shall hey. study. Hey. Really? Let's go. This is how I interact with Denny. Phew. Buy me food. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Atlas still has their faults, but I think the biggest thing that they've really learned <clears throat> well. is that when they listen to their fans and people that really care about their games, they make money. And we get excited and we talk about it. Like, it took them forever to port stuff. And then they finally caved and started doing like these surveys. And the main reason that we got, you know, P4G on Steam and Persona 5 getting moved to all consoles Aww. is because of the results of these surveys, which is crazy. And it's super important. Like they, Again, still have shortcomings. They still have things they, that they do that I don't like or don't understand, but they're trying, and that's important. 
the answer. Yeah, you love the toaster, don't you, Denny? Denny love toaster waifu. Oh God, dude, I, the pain and suffering, Killjoy, please. Wrong. That was a time in my life where all I did was speed run on the PS2, so like I never remembered to save. I lost weeks of progress at, like in my P3 playthrough. <laughs> hey. The um. Oh God. Ugh. Bad memories. Uh, P P3 is an experience. P3 vanilla is an experience. It is arguably one of the most painful experiences. Definitely play FES. <sighs> I had another thing to discuss. I can't remember. Oh. I I wanted to love Fuka more, but I was distracted by the fact that she always looked like she had just crawled out of like a dumpster somewhere. Like, what a cool character design, but it's almost as bad as the lady from SMT3 wearing the uh the uh the jert, the uh the jorts, the jutes and the jeans. Yeah, she knew a boy. Yeah, I know in P like the the P four speed run, there's a lot of like, and I think it's the same way in Nocturne. Like, you can check what skills and then back out, check skill, back out. Like, there's a lot of it. I forgot Tower has some of the best battle ability. It's, it's honestly the same voice actor, or I'm sorry, the same voice actress that did Nauta from Uri Kuri. I want to say Barbara Goodman? I think? Someone feel free to fact check me. Yeah. This is, I mean, there's really nothing that's going to clug me down here. We got through we got through Haru's dungeon, which I think is probably the worst shit in the game. I will have to try and figure out Kasumi's dungeon because I'm there. Trail Cluggins. Oh, I remember how shitty guns were in vanilla. It was not great. Do, do, do. Ah, you're back.
Nice going. You take care now. What should I do? Wonderful. Not bad. Oh. Yes. The thing is. All right, time to romance the fortune teller. It's just... Hey, yo, we got our money back. Let's go. Hell yeah. Damn, I'm rich. I would love to have 592,000 yen right about now. What? Even though the yen's kind of weak. No, um. Mm. She's a she's a country gal. Uh. Worst romance. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um. Some of some of some of the romance options are mildly questionable. Especially being a high school student. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot there's still some more news. Danny and I were talking about the, um, the I Am 8-Bit collection. Uh, they released all of the Persona soundtracks on vinyl. I jumped on it. I... I went on a ramen diet for a month or two. Not you. really, but like I def definitely saved up for, for something like that. Yeah, look, I had, I had, I definitely did some damage to my rainy day fund for that. It was one of those things like, you know, they're never going to redo that because of how much <sighs> it it cost them and the production that went into it. Like, that is well worth it to be honest i actually expected it to be more than than what it was like price wise yeah what's up nightbox good morning mm -hmm. to be honest i'm just gonna date her because i want to steal her headband Yo, I would love to do that. I don't even know where to go to do that, though. Why do people do that? Why is that like a thing in other countries that aren't? 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go get my ears clean. Where? How? I got big fucking ears, dog. I've never had anyone do that to me, right. Danny. <laughs> um. I should choose my words carefully. Um. Welcome to the harem. What? No. Um. It's really weird. Like, her, like, she mentions that she's from the country, but, like, her accent, like, at least in the, yeah, I was just about to say this, like, really just started showing through the past, <laughs> like, two levels. Cleaning session went haywire. Oh no! What happened, dude? Good night. I couldn't tell you the last time I went to see an actual like primary care physician, Denny. The last time I went to like an urgent care was like maybe a year ago for laryngitis. Anybody remember that? It was a great time. That sounded awful. If you've ever been in Eyes on B's channel and you redeem the um, the spicy fan fiction redeem, there's a chance you might hear me with laryngitis uh, reading a, um, I think it's a Resident Evil 1 fan fiction. <clears throat> I love. I'm really excited. She uh she's been she's been working on like a, a VTuber model, which I think for her her privacy and like sense of security is a very good thing. Morning. And part of it's why I did it. Otherwise, you'd be looking at me looking exhausted as shit. Um, my partner behind me in bed would have to be wearing clothes. Like, I'd have to worry about people, like, commenting or, like, weird shit like that. I just, dude, I don't want to. At all. I don't want to do that. <laughs> dude, that sucks, Nickbox. I'm sorry. It was very hard. That sucks. I impacted earwax. That also. Glass is starting. <laughs> Dude, I love SNES. Like I'm so happy well... that I got to meet B. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Nightbox. <laughs> Fuck that. What's going on? Went ham with a vacuum. You Yikes. Ouchies.
Will do, Denny. Hey, if you're around up and uh, up for the race, feel free. Feel free to swing through the uh, Discord. Hey. Hey. Uh, probably like eight thirty, nine o'clock. I think I think Chuck has coverage this week because Imp has work. Yeah, if I'm not in there, feel free to call me and yell at me. You have my phone number. Hey yo. Um, if there are any UKers in the chat, um, night, night, Denny. It's good to see you. Be well. If there are any uh, UK friends in the chat, if you want to see some really good music, um, definitely go check out Covet. Looks like they're doing a pretty decent tour. Nah, not pretentious. But uh, I got to see Covet on this tour. A really, really, really good show. We also got lucky. We had um, Pikes and Fable Sayers as open. Pikes is fucking. Okay. So, well, I gotta go buy a new book. Oh, yeah, by the way, I think we're gonna actually read all the books in this playthrough, too. It's time to go see the camp. Uh, he's over in the practice building. at a normal person time. Good job. Man be wearing sandals. What a goober. Wearing some slides. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> normal person. No, we bully Valeria here. Well, shall we begin? She doesn't go to bed when she should. Good. Look at you. Congratulations on not being an absolute degenerate. Congratulations. Hey. <laughs> oh, God, I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. Uh, no, I don't think so. If I, if I get a church wedding, Nightbox. In what weird, twisted scenario do you think that I'm actually allowed in any religious house of worship? Uh. I 
I start spontaneously combusting if I get within <laughs> like about a hundred feet of a Catholic church. Nah. Nah, I'm not that bad. To be to be honest, I was actually raised religious. Um I'm just more of a scientific person. If anything, from most of the, like, I have studied religions. I actually am a historian by education. Like, I think the important thing with religion is not the, the blind faith and worship and placing your trust in anything. It's something supernatural, but I think learning, like, ethics and morals from it is very good. Um, most of the major religions actually all share very, very, very common core concepts. Even, dude, even the Satanic Church. Yeah, it's about 90% of religions share like the same thing. Treat others how you want to be treated. Don't kill people. Don't be a piece of shit. Like pretty much it, you know? Right. Oh, trust me. I know, Nightbox. I live in America. Trust me. We get to have this discussion every day. It's tiring. And to be honest, Twitch at this point is like the only distraction from the horrifically crushing news every day. But that's why I do it. Give people a place to hang out where they can kind of kick back and not stress about it for even just an hour or two a night. Also, I feel bad for what's going down in Indonesia right now. Their government basically just shut off access to like half the goddamn internet. Yeah, I know, dude. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy, Nightbox. Like, I, I don't want to live here anymore. I want to get out of here whenever I possibly can. Germany, UK, and England are, or Germany, UK, and Canada are looking great right now. I just need to get a job line. To be honest, it's embarrassing. Look, my only other option is to run for political office, and I don't want to do that. This man drinking his apple juice box. What a cutie. Actually, Dr. Maruki's the real waifu. Let's be honest with ourselves. Thank you. At this point, like, six of one, half a dozen of the other, because with one or two bad election cycles and America basically becomes a, God, you know, yeah, I'm, look, I don't even need to say it, but it's, we all know the direction that one, one side of the political hemisphere wants to drag this country towards. And it's pretty much the exact opposite of who I am and what I am. And I'm not here. All right. I had one of the worst 15 runs I've had in a while. I got three 1% or less chances to happen in the run. It was barely over a 4.15, so, I mean, I'm still the fucking best at that game, but God, that was... All right. Yeah. It, it, I, dude, I understand Nightbox. Like, it's horrible in some countries. Like, I, I know I complain about it, and that stinks. Well, But it definitely you. could be worse, to be honest. I don't know. Things need to change globally. Uh, you're back. I think a lot of it has to do with corporate greed and personal greed and 
the, the need for power. I don't know if it'll change, but I'm here for it. I just hope with every fiber of my being that it is akin to the Velvet Revolution. Otherwise, look, I'm just here to be a positive, comfy, and safe safe place for anyone that wants to hang out with us. Anyway, let's turn it around and get back into the vibes. Ugh. Like I said, I'm, I'm excited. We got Formula One tomorrow. Stream was good. I made some really, really, really good food. Um, the Sisig was awesome. It was my first time making a Pinoy dish on on the cooking stream, and it went very well. Um, it was my first time making Sisig, which was super cool. Um, and the barbacoa, I got all prepped up, and that finished in the crock pot like an hour ago, so that'll be great for lunch. Uh-huh, I did. I didn't have access to chicken liver or pig ears because I would have had to buy like multiple pounds of it and I'm not going to. Like that's just very wasteful of me. I'm not gonna have any use for those. So I just did pork belly. Um, and when I boiled it, I did it in like, I threw some dried shiitake mushrooms in there, some MSG and uh, some ginger root to kind of give like that extra kind of unctuous flavor. It's somewhat similar to chicken liver. Um, no, no, it's just a, um, but yeah, it was really good. I added in a little extra American mayonnaise, um, and that was, I, I added a little bit extra salt for the, the chicken flavor. Yeah, it's very good, very good. I have to post pictures to the Discord, but that'll be up on the YouTube uh, Monday, I think. Um, all right, devil. Devil is yeah, I think. God, we have to romance. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be. Oh, honey. Doo -doo -doo. Like her style and look is really cool. She's just a shitty person. Yeah, so Sisig is, um, it's like pork belly, pork ear, chicken liver, uh, egg, mayo, onion, ginger. Very, very good. Uh, pepper flake. Thanks. Hey. Yeah, I've been sober like three years now, so. Like a out of ten, like a four or five. understand that um it's just it, for me it was just something that needed to be done
You gotta accept it. Oh, uh, which, uh, which show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing's really cool. Uh, what are you, uh, what are you putting in? Congratulations. Congratulations. I I think you're a good person to do it. You're, you're very versed and skilled in that run. I think it'll be much better and kind of kind of give a redemption for the shenana fuckery that went on. Lowest tier waifu. Aru. Um, so the MGR run that happened. At GDQ was a spliced segmented run and wasn't listed as such. Unfortunately for me, I have at least one. I have the relay coming up. About a month. I submitted to Limit Break. I submitted to ARPG Me. And I think that's all I have on the docket for now. I really want to get 15 into AG. I still need to do some really hardcore like data mine testing with AMG for 15. I think I might swap that to a low speed hard disk drive. As crazy as that sounds, I think it might make a lot of the tricks easier because the time I'll have more variance in timing. At least in terms of things with load speed. I think it's Oya's eyebrows that really piss me off, though. Her eyebrow game, fucking weak as shit. I can't leave you. No, literally, like, I can't leave. You won't shut up. Lala's a homie. I, f I fucking... I love Lala. I wish Lala was romanceable. Bless you, Freya. Ferret sneezes. Ichiko Oya. What a fucking name. place isn't classy enough to carry brand names. I just imagine Lala sounding exactly like H. John Benjamin or Coach McGurk.
Dude, I'm so excited too. I'm excited for people to be able to experience this game. Well then. Like it's so invigorating. It's such a great story. Not the greatest, but that and the music absolutely fucking slaps. <laughs> Speaking of music, if you haven't listened to Villarta's Masten under Vatten, you're missing potentially one of the best metal albums of all time. In my opinion, I think it's probably one of the most progressive pieces of, of heavier music I've heard in a decade. Yo, you simping, Nightbox. Let's go. Simpaholic over here. It's just a good game though. Like that's the thing. It's it's so enjoyable. Ah, uh, the speed run for this can be really cool, honey. I know a lot of friends that do it, so if you're interested, you know. And put you in the right direction.
Alright, let's, uh, so it's October. We'll go to our fortune teller girlfriend to ask her to influence our, um, oh. affinity with, uh, um, our we do? drunken journalist, uh, girlfriend. Oh shit, we're in our fall Here uniforms. Nice. Pushing through. All right, gotta go visit a uh, gunslinger kid. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Hey. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little tired. So. I have to message my Airbnb those. Uh, but yeah, thank you for all the follows, the hosts, the resubs tonight. It's been super, super awesome. What? Familiar young man. We're both gamers. Any gamers in the chat? Any gamers? Pro gamers? You're the guy from all those videos online. Uh. 
But I still think that's one of my favorite fucking eat modes. You bastard! You bastard! So. Alright, so I gotta get up for Formula One tomorrow. No way. I gotta I gotta put the stream up or put some VODs up. And I gotta huh? pull the clip. And I gotta go to yoga. And I gotta stream. Yeah, welcome back, Sunbay. You feeling better, homie? Terrible. Dude, I'm sorry. Migraine's We take W's in this house, Sunbay. All right. What? Probably not much longer. I sound tired? Nah, I'm just trying not to be super loud. Plus, you know, I've been talking 13 and a half hours straight. Yeah, I know. I have a bunch of it. Morgana, all of it's like Alvaro. Do my laundry, SNES. You can rub it directly against my washboard abs. Gaming.
Oh, it's not that bad. Hey, inmate. Me, I'm just like used to it, dude. Like I can bust out 16, 17 hour streams like nobody's business. That's why like for me, it's tough to do anything special. And like, I always super stress about how what I'm doing for like special DC. streams. Cause everyone's like, oh, I'm gonna do a 12 hour stream or I'll stream all week. It's like, bro, I haven't missed a stream in almost three years now. There, sorry, it's closer to like two and a half. We're, I think we're literally only a couple of weeks from our thousandth stream in a row. Like, I'm not even joking. These are the paths you have walked. Is this what you want? You'll withdraw this, then accept this persona. Done already? What? There ain't many like no me, Sunday. That's for damn sure. Anyway, we Let's made it to it. October, Avi. Oh yeah. I was close with our with our playtime guest. Of course. Good. Ah, oh, I should have waited for Lair Cake. Lair Cake absolutely slaps. Let's call it after after this. It'll be 3.30. Um, and also, I think this will be about a two-hour VOD. So I think I think that'll be that'll be good to put up. Um, and that gives me extra content that I can drop to YouTube at some point this week. Yo. That's right. Good. <laughs> Why is that, eh? All right. More parts. Let's go. What do you mean? I didn't do it. Ah, oh, dude, fucking just block him. Fuck that shit. Later. I generally leave my past in the past for good reason. around <laughs> Ushia. Well then. Hey. 
Well, it's 3.30. And we've been streaming for almost 14 hours. So, uh, I think we should call it here. I should write something. And grab a save. Pretty damn good progress tonight. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for hanging. Uh, lots of new follows. Lots of new friends. Uh... Bunch of resubs, bunch of raids. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Um, yeah, thanks. I felt really cute. Ironically, it get it got like the most interaction that I've had on any sort of like selfie post in a while. Either way, odd observation. Either way, for me, I'm gonna call it. Um, if you're up early, definitely feel free to join us in the Discord. Uh, we're going to do Monster Hunter Rise on PC tomorrow. Some Sunbreak hunts for a bit. Um, I think I'm going to run back 15, see if we can improve our world record there. I didn't even bother submitting it because it was so shit and there were technical challenges with the run that I noticed. Um, but yeah, we'll be watching the Formula One Grand Prix uh, in a couple of hours there. Um, but it's a great place to just hang out and chill. We play video games on the weekend and there's all sorts of cool stuff to talk about. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube, you should do that. I post all sorts of cool stuff to it, the VODs you may have missed, um, as well as some like cool clips and clip compilations from the stream, uh, moto vlogs, all the cooking stream stuff. If you're in the US, definitely check out our system integrator friends over at SkyTech. They are fabulous, have done a great job helping me keep this stream running at the level that I want it to, despite my fucking stupidity today. Um, and if you want to support the stream beyond, you know, subs, bits, donos, check out the Throne Wishlist. Great way to help me improve the quality of stream and, like, the other cosplay content and stuff that I do. Um, and I'll trade you cooking boats and stuff for it. So, yeah, think about that. The rest of my links can be found in this link, like my Twitter, or which I've used heavily, and my TikTok that I don't. Um, there's also links to, like, the merch store and stuff like that. Also, there's a link for 3D print commissions. Um... Talk to me. I love 3D printing. I love working on projects. Let's let's collaborate. Let's do something cool. Um, but for me, I'm going to call it, and I'll see you all in a few hours. We'll be back at like 1.30 Eastern tomorrow-ish. Probably a little bit later than that. Um, I have yoga at 12.30 and uh, a couple of things to take care of. I enjoyed my stay. But yeah, I appreciate you all hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the cooking stream. Thank you so much for your participation in that. Um, but yeah. Let's find someone to raid, and thank you so much for hanging out with us. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Hey, and don't forget, if you're on Twitter, find that post. I'm giving away an extra customized keyboard. It is, um, literally, I will ship it anywhere, and I'll, I'll build it to kind of match your aesthetic. Um, but yeah, I have to sneeze. <sighs> ah, anyway but yeah also stay prepped up the 13th we're doing a, a partner birthday celebration thingamajig so I got a bunch of stuff to give away that I've been working really hard on for the past couple of months and saving up for um, and just come and have fun with me either way let's find someone to raid I'll see you in a couple of hours I already know who I want to raid. We're going to go visit our friend Delinquent Ghost. Y'all don't know DG 